Hello everyone, I hope you are all doing good and uh, I'm so happy to meet you all after a long gap. You may think that every time uh, he's saying the same dialogue, that is, I'm seeing you after a long gap, but what to do? Uh, my work schedule is so tight, so I was not able to make videos regularly. But from now onwards, I will try to make videos in a regular period of time. In previous series of videos, I was making a, 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 a couple of videos based on nucleophilic substitution reactions. And I'm so happy to see a lot of positive responses and views uh, for those videos. And now I'm trying to make a series of videos based on rearrangement reactions. In this aspect, I'm going to discuss uh, pinacol pinacolon rearrangement reaction in this video. This is Dr. MK and welcome back to our channel. Pinacol pinacolon rearrangement reaction involves the treatment of pinacol, which is otherwise called as 1 2 diol or a glycol or vicinal diol, with a strong acid like sulfuric acid to form the corresponding ketone, which is called as pinacolone. The reaction involves the migration of alkyl or aryl group, which is connected to one part of the uh, diol into the other part to form the corresponding ketone. So, with this basic introduction, let us discuss the reaction in detail. As I said earlier, this compound is said to be pinacol. So, this compound is otherwise called as 1 to diol or vicinal diol or glycol. When this molecule is subjected to treatment with a strong acid like sulfuric acid along with heating to produce a ketone, this ketone is said to be pinacolone. As I said earlier, this molecule involves the rearrangement of methyl group from one part of the diol into the other part leading to the formation of a ketone. So, this is about the basic reaction of pinacol pinacolon rearrangement. Now, let us discuss a mechanism. So, the mechanism involves initially this pinacol when it is reacting with sulfuric acid, you know that sulfuric acid will provide H plus. So, this lone pair of oxygen is getting protonated leading to the formation of a species like this. So, you know that oxygen is second most electronegative atom in the periodic table and which is carrying here positive charge. So, that means it will take the bonded electron and it will be leaving as water molecule. So, what happens here? So, this bonded electron is moving towards oxygen atom and it is leaving as water molecule leading to the formation of a carbocation intermediate. Now, in the next step, so you know that this, this is carbocation, it needs a pair of electron. So, what happens here? So, this bonded electron is moving towards carbon atom. As a result, the valency of carbon will be increased by 1, that means the valency will go 5. So, in order to compensate the valency, one of the R groups, so in this case, both are me methyl groups. So, that means one of the methyl group will be migrating from this part, so from this carbon into this carbon. So, leading to the formation of a product like this. So, during the course of the process, that is acid is regenerated. So, initially in the first step, the acid is utilized. In the final step, acid is regenerated. So, this rearrangement is said to be 1 2 shift of methyl group. So, this is a so this carbon carbon bond is broken. So, this is given number 1 and this carbon is given number 2. And this methyl group number this is 1. So, if you happen to look at this molecule, the methyl group, first carbon atom methyl group is shifting from here to here. So, that is said to be 1, 1, 1, 2 shift, 1, 2 shift of methyl group. Suppose, if you have a question, sir, I have two different group at this carbon atom, then what will be the migratory aptitude? So, for that reason, you must know the migratory aptitude of pinacol pinacolon rearrangement. So, the best migratory atom will be hydrogen because hydrogen is a small atom. When it is having negative charge, that is hydride ion, when it is shifting, so this will be carrying maximum electron density and it is a very good migratory atom. So, next one is you have phenyl group. Phenyl group has a pi electron cloud, so which is electron rich in nature. So, this will be the next better migratory group. 
After that, you have alkyl group. So, among the alkyl groups, the tertiary will be the best migratory group, followed by you have secondary and then primary alkyl, then you have methyl. And importantly, so this phenyl group can be classified into three categories that is, when electron donating group attached phenyl ring will be a best migratory group, followed by unsubstituted phenyl group. And then you have the electron withdrawing group attached to phenyl group. So, this is the order um, for phenyl group. So, please keep in mind. So, the best migratory atom will be hydrogen followed by you have phenyl, then you have alkyl. So, this is a migratory aptitude of pinacol pinacol and rearrangement reaction. Fine. So, we are going to the example part. The first example. If you happen to look at this molecule, this is a symmetrical diode. If you cut the molecule, it will be uh, uh, evenly cut into two equal half. So, this is said to be a symmetrical diode. If the dial is symmetrical, so any one of the OH group can be removed. So assume this right side OH group is removed as water molecule by the treatment with a strong acid like sulfuric acid and it leads to the formation of a carbocation intermediate. So let me draw that. So, there is a formation of carbocation and in the next step, this hydrogen electron, bonded electron is coming to this carbon atom. So, as a result, either this paramethyl phenyl group that is paratolyl group or this phenyl group can undergo migration. As I said earlier, if you happen to look at the migratory aptitude, that is electron donating group attached to phenyl ring will be a best migratory group than the unsubstituted phenyl ring. So, if you apply this concept, so this will be undergoing migration and it leads to the formation of a ketone like this. So, already this molecule has a phenyl group and a paratolyl group along with this migrated paratolyl group is attached to this carbon atom. That is it. We will go to the next example. So, this is an unsymmetrical diode. So, if you cut this molecule, these two are different parts. So, this is going to be unsymmetrical diode. That means, if this OH is removed, you will get a new uh, carbocation and if this OH is removed as water molecule, you will get the another different carbocation and you, do, you need to find out which carbocation is more stable. So, let us try both sides. So, assume this OH group is removed. So, let us take this as a path B. So, in path B, you will get the formation of a carbocation like this. Suppose if this OH group is removed as water molecule, so let us consider this step as a path A. So during path A, we will get the formation of a carbocation like this. And you know well, I have made a couple of videos based on carbocation stability. And if you happen to look at the video, or if you know the basic concepts of uh, the carbocation stability, you can easily find out the answer. So, that is, this is a tertiary carbocation, that is an alkyl tertiary carbocation, this is a benzyl di diphenyl methyl type of carbocation. So, this cation is stabilized by resonance. And this will be more stable. So, that means this will not be formed, this will be forming easily. What will be the next step? So, this electron is coming here. So, these two are same group. So, this methyl group is undergoing migration from here to here and it leads to the formation of a keto. That is it. So, we will go to the next example. So, this is also an unsymmetrical diode. So, that means there is a possibility of two carbocation formation. So, assume 
this OH removal is considered as path B and this OH removal as water molecule is considered as path A. So, in path B, it leads to the formation of a cation like this. Whereas in path A, the removal of water molecule will lead to the formation of a cation. So, just before I have said this cation is stabilized by resonance. And this is more stable. So, in the next step, so this electron is coming here and this alkyl that is the ring is expanding from here to here. So, during the ring expansion, you need to be very careful. So, I will I'll tell you how to draw the structure. So, hydrogen is removed as H plus and there is a bond between this carbon to this carbon atom and it is getting broken and this electron bond electron is connected to this carbon atom which is having two phenyl groups and as a result you have C double bond O formation here. So, if you happen to give numbering, so this is a six member ring, so that is a cyclohexanone ring and alpha to the keto group you have a diphenyl substitution, that is it. We will go to the next one. So, this is a symmetrical diode, but it is attached to a ring system. So, if this question is asked means how will you give the answer? So, since it is symmetrical diol, any one of the OH group can be removed as water molecule. Assume this OH is removed. Right. So, when this electron is coming here, so this part of the ring is getting expanded from here to here. H plus is removed, that is the catalyst is regenerated for the next cycle. Right. As I said earlier, so this carbon carbon bond is broken and it is shifted to this next atom. So, here C double bond O formation will be there. So, if you happen to give the numbering 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. So, there is a 6 member that is a cyclohexanone and here you have a pentane, cyclopentane system. So, it is a spiro compound. This is said to be spiroketone. Right. We have a previous year gate question based on this pinnacle pinnacolon rearrangement and and you can easily give the answer. So, suppose if you have to look at this molecule, so this is an unsymmetrical diode and if this OH is removed, it is assumed as path B and this OH is assumed, is, it is assumed as path A. So, let us discuss the path B here. The OH is removed as water molecule. and it leads to the formation of a carbocation. Similarly, let me draw the structure of path A carbocation also. Now, you need to identify the stability of these two carbocation. So, this is carbocation which is connected to para nitrophenyl system. So, you know that the nitro group is an electron withdrawing group. When a carbocation is connected to an electron withdrawing group, then it will be less stable. Whereas, if you happen to look at the path A carbocation, this is connected to 4 methoxyphenyl 
and also it has a phenyl group so both are electron donating group so this will be stabilized by these two uh, phenyl rings and it is more stable in nature and compared to that this is less stable so path b will not be forming path a will undergo i mean formation of a carbocation so what what happens in the next step when this electron is coming here so either para toluene group should be undergoing migration or para nitro phenyl group will be undergoing migration as i said earlier when a phenyl group is attached to an electron donating group will be a better migratory group than a phenyl group is attached to an electron withdrawing group so if you apply that concept here so this will be a very good migratory group and it leads to the formation of a product like this so if you happen to look at this option so that is option a is the right answer that's it so i hope you might have learnt uh, something about uh, penacol penacol and rearrangement reaction if you feel so you can like the video share your opinion in the comment section and do not forget to subscribe our channel and i will meet you all in the next interesting topic and then take care bye wait 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 wish you all a very happy pongal iniya pongal nalwalthukal nandri